Hello all you Dr. Seuss fans out there. This is your favorite true special, Superhero Star on Cartoon Network for the Warner Brothers, Super Wayne Wallace, the Super Felon Eater. <laughs> and I brought my dogs, Junior, Max, and their friend, Chewy. Say hi, fellas. Now, are you already enjoying for Dr. Seuss's 120th anniversary? We all do, and it was make awesome when we read all the Dr. Seuss's stories for his anniversary. And this is today. Oh, um, sorry, I forgot to tell you something. I wear my birthday crown because today is my birthday on March 16. And anybody call me Super King Birthday Star. Just like my friends already say. And our favorite truth special, I mean yours, mine, ours, and anybody's favorite true special superhero star characters. <laughs> so today is my birthday. I would like to read you all about a Dr. Seuss story. Where I have a, a hunch in a bunch. Oh, it, it's right here. I got this one for my, uh, the, I mean, uh, for the, the library. <laughs> and so, this is a type story about this boy who really have a hunches for the bunches. And I have a hunches too. And sometimes we have hunches uh, in a bunches. It's going to get loose on mine. So anyway, I will read some story to you for my birthday. I mean my 30th second birthday. <laughs> now, are you all sitting comfortably? Good. Then I'll begin. Hunches in Bunches by Dr. Seuss. Do you ever sit and fidget when you don't know what to do? Everybody gets the fidgets, even me and even you. And today was quite an awful day for me and my poor pup. My trouble was I had a mind, but I couldn't make it up. It's awfully, awfully, awful when you can't make up your mind. Do you want to kick a football? Or sit there on your behind? Do you want to go out skating? Fly a kite? Or climb a tree? Do you want to eat a pizza? Take a bath? Or watch TV? Oh, you get so many hunches that you don't know ever quite if the right hunch is a wrong hunch. Then the wrong hunch might be right. There I was inside the house, so fuddled up I could shout. When I got a hunch, a happy hunch, that I shouldn't be in, but out. But before I could follow that happy hunch, a voice snapped. Don't you dare. And a real tough hunch informed me. You're not going anywhere. There is homework to be done, bub. Sit your pants down on that chair. And so I did. I sat me down. But as soon as I got set, a better hunch came, and he yanked off the homework hunch's hat. The better hunch said, We'll head downtown. We'll pick up your good friend James, and together we'll trot to some real cool spot, and we'll play a few video games. So of course, that's what I started to do. 
but a sour hunch came to spoil it. Your bicycle's rusting up. He yapped. Get yourself out back and oil it. By now my mind was so mixed up, I really didn't know if I wanted to go to the barber shop or to Boise, Idaho. Then a very odd hunch upset me when he asked me loud and clear. Do you think it might be helpful if you went to the bathroom, dear? Before I could even answer him, a new voice interrupted. That mind of yours, I heard him say, is frightfully deflected. Your mind is murky mushy. Will you make it up, or won't you? If you won't, you are a water. Do you understand, or don't you? If you don't, you are a doter. You're a canter if you can't. I would really like to help you, but you're hopeless, so I shan't. Then a spookish hunch suggested I go four ways all at once. But I didn't fall for that one. I am not that dumb a dunce. I knew where I would end up if I tried a thing like that. Most likely on some dead-end road in West G. Hossa Flat. I was much too smart for that four-way hunch, but the next thing that I knew, I was following a nowhere hunch, a real dumb thing to do. Everybody sometimes does it, even me, and even you. I followed him in circles till we wore the rug right through. And then I heard an up hunch laugh. You are a stupid schlep. The way to go is not around. The way to go is up. That seemed to make a lot of sense. I even took my chair. I just knew I'd make my mind up if it had some high fresh air. But the up hunch I had followed was a phony and a fake. Way up top, I met a down hunch. And he sighed, For goodness sake, you should never trust an up hunch. You have made a big mistake. Then things got really out of hand. Wild hunches in big bunches were scrapping all around me, throwing crunchy hunchy punches. And some super hunch was yelling, Make your mind up. Get it done. Only you can make your mind up. You're the one and only one. One of me could never do it. And quite suddenly, I knew. To get a job like that done would take more of me. Like two. And maybe even more of me. Like three of me. Or four of me. It took an awful lot of me. It took a lot of yelling. It took a lot of shoving and hot bargaining and selling. We all talked the hunches over, up and down and through and through. We argued and we bargued. We decided what to do. And I finally followed a munch hunch, the best hunch of the bunch. I followed him into the kitchen and had six hot dogs for lunch. All right then. This is a really good story about the hunches and bunches. And do you ever get hunches and bunches? I, I, yeah, I got hunches and bunches too. And my parents and my friends are being hunches and bunches sometimes. So anyway, I'm really glad you all really hear this story about Hasha and Budges and written by Dr. Seuss. And right, and right now, today is my birthday, I will off to see my family and friends. Where we, where we celebrate for my birthday in the Top Golf. Oh, and my dogs and Chewy Oh, and my dogs really want to go too. But we celebrate for my birthday. <laughs>
So I, so I hope to see you guys soon. Do we celebrate from Dr. Seuss's 120th anniversary? Be safe. Be kind. I mean, have a make awesome day, everybody. Be safe. Be kind. And enjoy about the Dr. Seuss's 120th anniversary. And wherever you have a hushes and bunches, you let me and us know, okay? All right. Say goodbye, boys. <coughs>